The FP4 browser is located under File, FP4 Browser. The FP4 browser is like the Windows File Explorer, but for your connected FP4's SD card. Note, you must have FP4's connected and in beyond slash QS mode for them to show up here. This window is mainly used to upload content from your PC to your FP4, or download content from your FP4 to your PC. On the left, you see your connected FP4s, and on the right, you see the files on that FP4. By default, your FP4 should have a content folder, a firmware folder, a settings.bak file, and a settings.ini file. Sometimes there's other folders like a projector manufacturer's name where they put specific files. You can navigate these folders just like you navigate folders on your PC, double-clicking to open and navigate, and to go back you can press this arrow to go up a level. The top bar lets you go back to the main root of the FP4, upload files, download files, cancel an operation, refresh the folder window, delete files, see the status of uploads and downloads, as well as play or stop output of a specific file. This will play the file directly from the FP4 to its output. On top, there are a few other options under Folder to add new folders on your FP4. Under Communication, you can cancel all operations, pause, resume, and repower the FP4 over the network for the selected FP4 or for every connected FP4. This can be useful if you want to just power cycle one FP4 without cutting power to a whole line of projectors using a breaker. Lastly, under Bulk Upload, you can upload content from your PC to various folders on your FP4s. Thanks for watching our quick hints video on the FP4 browser. If you're still having trouble, contact our support line by emailing support at pangolin.com and we'll help you as soon as possible.